Hello everyone. Tonight I'm here at Hollywood Weekly Magazine Film Festival celebrating its fourth year in a row. Let's check out who's in and who's out. What is the history of Hollywood Weekly Magazine Film Festival? Well, we began actually as a community newspaper in a, in a portion of Los Angeles called Culver City uh, some 20 years ago. And people come to me, major celebrities that we profile, and they say, you know what, Prather, you got a great newspaper, but reaching only 4,000 people, you know, I'm Snoop Dogg. You know, I have, a reading, I have followers all over the world. So I started thinking, you know what, Snoop is right. You know, he's got fans all over the world, and I have Snoop on my cover, and I have 4,000 readers. So I started to develop an idea for a magazine. Eventually came with the idea of Hollywood Weekly. And uh, the rest is history. Tell us what you think about the festival. This festival is amazing and I love supporting the festivals. It's always uh, great to meet new people, uh, people from industry. And I, th I think, you know, it's just opposite of Paramount and it's amazing location. I think this is a very important festival. Uh, it's only been around for four years, but has proven to be a, a great place to network within the industry. And it has grown very fast. So uh, it's a great place to be, very international and I'm very happy to be one of the hosts here tonight. Apparently, there's only one guy in the city, Scarlet Kid. I could have orchestrated the whole thing. He's right here in the room with us. Now, who set us up at the Westland Bank downtown? Hey. Just finished the Mason Brothers out, came out in uh, April in uh, theaters, and um, now I'm working in, on another film, another feature film called The Refuge, which is currently in development, and uh, I hope to shoot that next year. So that's my current project that I'm on right now. So. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. I'm very excited to be part of the festival today. Uh, I've been uh, blessed to be able to dress a few of the actresses that are presenting tonight. You're the new executive producer of Hollywood Weekly Magazine Film Festival. What changes have you made for this year? Okay, so this year I have brought in some more international atmosphere to it. Uh, we have a Scandinavian touch, uh, Scandinavian actors, producers, directors, and also, of course, IMA Content, which is the co-producer of, uh, of the full film festival. So we've also uh, brought in the world screening of Opus of an Angel uh, in association, in cooperation sorry, with Junior Blindness of America. And uh, that brings also in a social touch to its social atmosphere to it as well. And uh, they have its world premiere, and it's fantastic to have them here. Are you okay? I think so. You have another number? Nope, that's it. Hollywood Weekly Magazine Film Festival opens with the world premiere screen of your movie. Tell us more about it. Well, I'm, uh, I'm from Iran. My parents are from Iran. I'm Persian. Uh, when I was a young age, I moved to Sweden. I was brought up in Sweden. Um, I lived in the UK for a few years. Been in LA for the past 15 years. Um, it's called Opus of an Angel, and uh, it's a beautiful movie about faith, hope, life, beautiful life. And uh, you just gotta sit down and watch it, and hopefully, you'll go out of the cinema with a big smile. What you can tell us about the festival today? Well, it's great. I was here also last year, but this year it seems a lot, a lot nicer. A lot of very good people. And one of my best friends is doing the Opus of an Angel. I'm looking really forward to see it. And I'm proud of him, of the whole team, actually. I'm w working on, too, uh, Opus of Angels. So we have premiere tonight. So I'm feeling good. And uh, like usual, Simo is here. I am here. Marokko is here. So it's good. It's good. It's always good to see a movie. Um, I like how it's organized, really good people here. Um, that's really um, an occasion to meet people, to have contacts, and but mainly it's good to see movies. I'm seeing so many wonderful personalities here and I just took a picture just a minute ago with the director and the star uh, of the movie. So I'm really excited about seeing it. I want to see what they did in the movie. Well, so far it's been amazing. Everyone has been so welcoming tonight. 
So I definitely appreciate that, you know, coming to screen the film tonight. So I directed and produced uh, Chasing Titles Volume 1, starring Brian Austin Green, Lennon Jimenez, and Clifton Powell. My name in, the, in Hollywood is Mama Razzi, the one-shot woman, because I only take one. You don't need to take anymore. The opening ceremony was amazing, and I can't wait to cover for you the next one next year. Simo Bashir, Al Arabian News English, Los Angeles.